Welcome back to Siren Sester, where the 2016 Sangyong Masters have reached the semi-final stage. In part one, we saw the epic rally between Elliot Seabrook and Simon Roberts. Oh, played out. The early withdrawal of Adam Hassan, which opened the door to the semi-finals for Stuart Sell. And our three other semi-finalists passing their quarter-final examinations. Another tough test lay in waiting for Ed Ellis as he took on world number one Elliot Mould in our first semi-final. As Ed mentioned in part one, he hasn't caused Mould too many problems in the past and this looked like it may continue as the match got underway. But unlike in previous meetings, this was a semi-final. And with the pressure of a Masters final at stake, anything was possible. However, Mould has been in this situation on many an occasion, and he began to take control of the first set. So one love to the top seed and his potential opponent if he were to make the final watched on. Now just one set away from the final, Mould looked to start where he left off in the second set. There was certainly the occasional flicker of pressure coming from Ellis as he looked to level up the match. From Mould's point of view, it was important to stamp out any potential hope of an Ellis comeback. And he looked to be stepping up his game again. Ellis was up for the battle though and he soon created his first set point, albeit with a touch of lady luck. He then grabbed the opportunity with both hands to take the first semi-final to a third and final set. Mould started strongly in the decider and it was audibly clear that Ellis knew what he had to do here. Come on, fight, fight! <laughs> Signs of cracks were beginning to appear in Mould's game and this became a big opportunity for Ellis. The underdog seemed well aware of this and perhaps tried to force the issue too early. This overhit return seeming to calm the nerves of Mould. A huge hold from Mould to put him 3-2 in front, then led to a match point on the Ellis serve. Well, it hadn't been straightforward, but Elliot Mould moved into the final here in Sirencester, and he was certainly relieved. Yeah, very hard work. Ed probably played the best match he's played against me so far, so yeah, lost more energy than I liked, but credit to him, he played really well. Shot for shot, that was certainly the uh, closest I've come to, um, to causing him some real trouble. So the much talked about Mould versus Roberts clash was still very much on as we moved into the second semi-final where Stu Sell stood in the former number one's way. It 
it was Searle who burst into life quickest in this one with some big shots and powerful play. Roberts found his feet though and began to take charge and he soon had the chance to take the opening set. So was a man on a mission in the second, really taking the game to Roberts and displaying some classy touches at the net. It wasn't long before he deservedly took the second set. The second time we were heading for a decider. Roberts wasn't about to crash out just yet. What a lob this was. Which I think everyone in Sirencester appreciated. It was then Searle to once again step up to the plate, volleying home to stay in check with a favourite. It was now anyone's, and Sell seemed to be playing with an inner belief that he could make the final. Roberts, on the other hand, looking completely dejected. Never had Sell beaten the former number one, but now he had the chance to do just that. What a performance that was by Stuart Sell, and he was into the final to face Mould. Pretty delighted actually, I've taken on a, a bit of advice and a bit of a different tack on playing touch and sport in general, and it seems to have worked recently. That's, I think that's probably about the best I can play. So there would be no Mould versus Roberts here today, Instead, the Sangyong Masters final would be contested between Mould and Sell. Once they were both happy with who would serve first, it was game final on. Final of the singles of the Siren Sester Sangyong Masters. With hopes of a Mould Roberts double whammy, Sell began where he left off in this best of five final. However, unforced errors crept into his game and then took over. The first set was over before it began, with Mould not having to break sweat. One love. Searle started better in set two, notching his first game on the scoreboard. In a now more evenly contested match, Mould continued to look sharp and tricky to pass. Sell clearly feeling he could be doing better in this final. And soon he was. That's better. 
with a bit of luck, took the second set to a tie break. However, Mould's experience of big finals perhaps took him into autopilot and he soon brought himself to within one set of the championship. At the start of the third, the one-way traffic continued, but it was no longer because of Searle's errors. Mould was now just in full flow and it was impressive to watch. A good point made by Sell. Would perhaps coming to the net be a better tactic? Yeah. No, you're on okay. your own there, Stu. He did let Mould know he was still there by taking the fourth game, but it was soon back to business and a championship point. <coughs> Elliot Mould wins the 2016 Sangyong Masters after a devastating display against Stuart Sell. Sell will certainly look back with pride at his heroics in the semi-final, but Mould proved who the current touch tennis boss is with a straight sets win in the final. I took away his biggest thing in serve by taking it early, which uh, really changed the game. And I think he was uh, still coming down from the biggest win of the touch tennis year, taking on uh, Simon Roberts. So. I think it was tough for him to come straight off to try and play me in the final. I was relatively tired from the semi-final, but I wasn't completely exhausted. I had a bit of energy left, and I think in the second set, I sort of tried to put it to good use, and I, I made a really competitive set of it, but I wasted a few set points, which really was the, the, the door back into the match. It was a little bit ajar, and I just sort of didn't let it, didn't let it open properly. But I, yeah, he, he played a really, really good match and deserves to, to, deserves to be champion. It's been a fantastic event. Uh, thanks for Phil. Sarah Ditcham, Rashid, um, for organising the event and getting all the sponsors in. Um, yeah, we've, we've had a fantastic day and it's great to be part of that. Congratulations, mate.